So nowadays, when you hear someone talking about hormones, a few may immediately come to mind, and insulin is probably not one of them. While testosterone and estrogen play critical roles in the functioning of our bodies, insulin deserves to be in that conversation, as it has a sensitive relationship with every organ in your body. In fact, as many as 133 million Americans are affected by insulin resistance. That's a lot of people, and it's difficult not to wonder why insulin testing isn't a part of routine care. Let's take the next few minutes to explore why. But first, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you, or anybody you know, is in pursuit of optimal metabolic health. Hey there, my name is Austin, and I, like many others, had a hard time understanding why my doctor wasn't routinely testing my fasting insulin levels. I mean, look at this. Insulin has a myriad of functions in the body. Whether you're studying for a test, listening to a podcast, walking down the street, or wanting to have a new baby, insulin plays an important role in the process. Among each of those important functions, perhaps the most important role that insulin plays is the one it's best known for, helping your body extract chemical energy from food. When you eat a meal, your digestive tract breaks down carbohydrates and produces a simple sugar called glucose. As your blood glucose rises above its baseline, your pancreas responds by secreting insulin to help you metabolize this glucose by shuttling it into cells for energy or into storage. Of course, this temporarily increases your insulin levels until the excess glucose has been accounted for. Except for some, this increase in insulin isn't as temporary as it should be. There are cases where the body isn't as responsive to the effects of insulin, which leads to increased levels of insulin in the blood. This is a condition known as insulin resistance. To learn more about the causes of insulin resistance, this video and the associated blog post breaks it down pretty sufficiently. This is an important phenomenon to understand because hyperinsulinemia and insulin resistance are linked to metabolic syndrome, cancer, cognitive decline, reproductive issues, and a host of other conditions that are uncomfortable to live with. Each of those conditions, and others that I didn't mention, seem like a compelling enough reason for each of us to be aware of our insulin levels. So why isn't it something that's commonly requested by every doctor across the globe? Well, to start, there's no scientific consensus on what optimal levels of insulin look like. The first reason for this is that high insulin, until recently, has been viewed as a downstream effect of serious health issues rather than a primary cause. And the second reason is that fasting insulin is entangled with a number of other independent factors like body mass index and insulin sensitivity, as well as diet, exercise, and ethnicity. To pile onto the complexity, existing reference ranges suggest that fasting plasma insulin should stay under 25 microunits per milliliter. However, many metabolic health experts consider this range too high. In fact, five levels advisors all suggest that fasting insulin should stay below 10 microunits per milliliter. So maybe you can see how the lack of clarity on acceptable insulin levels might discourage medical professionals from testing for it more often. This nuance has led researchers to build an array of more complex mathematical scores to assess insulin and its relationship with blood sugar. Even still, with more than one way to determine whether your insulin level is within a healthy range, there's still a lack of standardization across insulin tests. Now, even though we don't have as much information as we'd like, Insulin tests are still legitimate clinical procedures used in the treatment and diagnosis of many issues, making it something you should consider measuring for yourself. Whether you're testing fasting insulin or approximating your insulin sensitivity by taking a closer look at your lipid panel, understanding insulin levels represents a powerful opportunity for those who want to lower their risk of serious health issues. For more information about insulin and what your levels might imply about your metabolic health, I strongly encourage you to check out the full length blog post that's linked in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. I really hope that was helpful. See you in the next video.